Hello everyone, happy Friday. It is February 24th, 2023. My name is Kyle and this is Maker Notes. Today, we're gonna to talk about a cowl that's designed by Megan Gonzalez of Nurture Knitwear and it's called the Silver Dusk Cowl. It uses um, two different yarns and we'll talk about the yarns in just a second. But first, let's talk about what's involved in making this cowl. So first, we need to know how to work in the round and knit and purl, of course. We need to know how to do a provisional cast on, um, mosaic knitting, which is super simple. And if you haven't done mosaic knitting before, we have a fantastic um, explanation of what mosaic knitting is on our blog. So you can click that link in the newsletter and see um, what mosaic knitting is all about. Super easy um, technique. So provisional cast on, mosaic knitting, working in the round, and then Kitchener Stitch. So those are the things we need to know how to do to uh, make this cowl. So Silver Dusk uses two different yarns and the yarns we have in our kit are Zauberball Crazy. So this is what Zauberball Crazy looks like. This is color 1507. And Zauberball Crazy is, and I should know this, but guess what, I have to look. It's okay if we don't remember the content of everything all the time, right? And 75% superwash wool, 25% nylon. So that's what Zauberball Crazy looks like. And we have paired it with Madrona. And Madrona is 30% baby alpaca, 30% merino wool that's been treated with Easy Wash. So it's kind of like Superwash, but Superwash is a name brand, so Easy Wash. Um, and then 20% uh, bamboo viscose and 20% nylon. So those are the two colors of the color um, combo that looks like what the sample is. This is called Twilight Ocean, this colorway. Um, in the kit, you're gonna get the cake of Madrona, a ball of Zauberball Crazy, and inside the kit, you also get a needle. I don't remember what size needle it is, and I didn't have one pulled out. Here we go. It is a 16 inch US 5 or 3.75 millimeter Scassell rocket. So that's the needle you're gonna get. That's also in the kit, and of course, you get the Silver Dusk cowl pattern as well. So when you're placing your order and you choose which colorway you want, make sure if you'd like, um, put your Ravelry name into the order. That way we can put the pattern into your Ravelry library. If you don't use Ravelry or if you don't have an account, um, then don't worry about it. We'll just put the pattern into the email that you provide when you check out. So that was the Twilight Ocean colorway. The next one I have here is called Midnight Bloom. So this is color 2429, paired with a really fun denim blue, 1405. That's Midnight Bloom. Then we have Dawn Meadow. Meadow. After midnight comes the dawn, right? So here's Dawn Meadow. This is color 2528, paired with this really fun color, 1412 of Madrona. So that'll be a great one. It's got little peaks of this rosy color in here as well, fun. And then the last colorway I have here is called Cloud Forest. So Cloud Forest is 2250 paired with 1407. So that'll be really fun. And there's actually, there's some little blues peeking in here. You can see some of the blue um, peeking in that um, Zawal Crazy. I think that'll be really pretty. So four different colorway options in our kits. Um, using these two really fantastic yarns, Haiku's Madrona and Sheppel's um, Zauberball Crazy. You're gonna get that needle, of course, and certainly the pattern. And when we purchase the pattern through Ravelry for you, we'll also print a copy and include that in your order. So that is the Silver Dusk Cowl by Megan Gonzalez, and that is in our newsletter today. Another thing that we wanted to show you today is this. So this is the three-in-one color tool, and it's a fan deck. So this is what a fan deck looks like. And the way that this works is basically you just go through and you'll choose a color. So we'll just say we picked this blue-green color code, and it has a number six up in the corner. And when we turn this around, and of course there's more information in, the, um, in this little booklet, that explains how to use this. But when you turn this around, you can look and see, like if you're looking for complements, you can see that this says the blue green of, uh, which is number six that we're looking at, goes with the blue red number 18. 
right? So if I go into the fan deck and I find the little page that's number 18, this is the blue red. So these two colors on the color wheel are directly opposite each other. So they're complementary colors. So if I look at lighter or darker versions of them, which are on the other side of the, um, of the page, you can see the lights and dark variations of these. So that's complementary colors. There's also analogous colors, which are colors next to each other on the color wheel. There are split complements and triadics, all kinds of stuff. So this is a fun, fun tool to familiarize yourself with color, learn a little bit more about color theory. Um, and if you're doing digital stuff, it also has the CMYK and RGB color values uh, printed in it as well. Fantastic tool, highly recommended. If you're interested in getting one of these, um, check it out. How do we use it in, um, in our fiber arts world? Well, if you're looking at yarn and you want to look at a color of yarn, you can go through and find, you know, is this yarn, where is this yarn in the color wheel? And I'm trying to find a color that goes with this. I can look at the colors and see that if I wanted to do a complement of this, this is on number 18, the blue, the blue red, and then there's a blue green, which is on page six, the number six. So that color goes with the other one. And I can sort of narrow down which colors might work well with, um, with a project that I'm working on. So check out the three in one color tool if you're interested in that. There's a big bolt. I need to do a drawing, right? So we did red alder and it was a lot of fun. And I need to, I'm not gonna look, I'm gonna randomly pick a person. This is the winner. So our winner is going to be um, Carol Stewart. Yay! Congratulations, Carol Stewart. So Carol is the winner of uh, their choice of Addy Click interchangeable sets. So we'll reach out to Carol um, by phone or email or both to find out which interchangeable set they like. All of the people who entered, thank you so much. Many of you, this might be your first newsletter that you're checking out. So hello from all of us at Makers Mercantile. We're excited to have you join us and certainly Carol as well. I'm sure you're very excited for your prize. We'll be sending that out to you as soon as we find out which one you'd like and we get the address that you'd like us to send that out to. Then the last thing in today's newsletter is Maker's Night. So it's coming up, it's the first Tuesday of each month, right? And so March, the first Tuesday that's coming up, that Maker's Night is going to be with Amy Deachin. So Amy Deachin is a incredible um, instructor and fiber artist who um, is going to join us through Zoom. This is a free event. And Amy is going to be revealing her five favorite knitting tips. So if you're interested in joining us, all of the login information is in the newsletter. It's also on our calendar. So to join, you'll just go on that Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific or a few minutes before, and you'll um, go to Zoom and click on that link or, and enter the passcode, which is also there, and you'll be able to join us and learn what those five knitting tips are. That's it, my friends. That is it for this wonderful Friday. Do something fun for yourself this weekend and make sure, of course, that you reach out to your friends and family, let them know you're thinking of them. We will see you again bright and early on Tuesday with another newsletter. Um, until then, if you have questions or need help from us, just reach out. Hello at makersmercantile.com or give us a call 206-747-7121. Until then, stay safe and we'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.